In this video, you will host your own Discord bot maker or bot ghost clone for free that can be online 24 7. It has music, auto mod, logs, and more. So, let's get started. Hello there, so go to github.com slash theadamjr slash 6pg. So now you can start this if you want and deploy to Heroku. So now we're deploying 6pg. We're going to call this 6pg. And now, for the client ID, we're going to go to discord.com slash developers and get our bot that we want. We do want 6pg. Okay, make a bot, make sure you do that. So we want the client ID. Paste it in there. Then we want the secret. Paste it in there. That's used for logging in. So the dashboard URL, that would be 6pg. .herokuapp.com there we go, so the mongo yori we go to mongodb slash cloud slash atlas sign in okay so now we've signed in we have our maker cluster and then we have a cluster, go to network access here okay so in network access we want to delete this then add an IP address, allow access from every anywhere that allows Heroku to connect Database access, so we're going to make a new user, user what to in this case, attempt to, so generate secure password, copy, add user. Now let's go to here, so this is our password, user2 is our username, keep that in mind. So now we're going to go to clusters, connect, connect your application, copy this. Okay, so here, let me zoom in a bit, P replace this with password, replace this with user here, username, last but not least, this is called 6pg, we can, you can call it whatever fits your application, paste that in there, and we're ready to go, so deploy app. Okay, so if everything went to plan, manage app, here's our app, open app, let's go there. Okay, so we have 6pg, let's log in. And it says this, so we need to add in the redirect URI. Now, a lot of people get this wrong, but we just need to copy this, the off. So there's actually two that we're going to use. Just ignore these. So we can actually add two of these. So 6pg or whatever you're using. Slash off. And then we're going to add another. Which is going to be slash dashboard. And this is for adding the bot. If a user decides to add their own bot, they can do that. And that's pretty much it. So now we can refresh. And that logs us in, like that. If everything is planned, it should log us in. We have an XP card, we can customize it. Getting a bit distracted, but let's add a bot. Last but not least. So we're going to go to general information. And we're going to go to bot. So make sure you create a bot. All we need is the token. And we should be ready to go. So now, it actually added the bot. If we go and look, it says 6pg is online. That means we're hosting it. Should probably get rid of this activity. But if we type ping, it's connected to a database because commands are working. Help. Let's see. We have commands here. Not many commands, but you can always add loads of commands if you want. Okay, there we go. There's our bot. If you need help, you can join this server, link in the description. I might plan to, in the next videos, or one of them, I might deploy this bot if you want to see that. And it has loads of, a lot more commands. And yeah, so this should be online 24-7 because it keeps itself alive by pinging. Currently, it only stays on for 550 hours at a time. So if you do the maths, you'll find that's nearly 21 days. 
So if you want to extend that, what you can do is verify your credit card on Heroku. I did that. And it allows it to stay on for another 450 hours, so 1,000 hours total. And it doesn't charge, it didn't not charge me, by the way, so that's how to keep it online 24-7 without paying. But for some reason, it needs your credit card. But there we go, so there's our bot. Like the video if you found it helpful. And subscribe for more videos like this. Anyways, join the server if you need help. See you there.